NCQA requires all certified HEDIS vendors to provide supplemental data impact reports for the traditional HEDIS measures. That's in the certified vendors contracts. They can't not do it. And as we all know, the auditors partner with the plans to make sure you got the credit you wanted, that nothing wonky happened. Well, unfortunately, there is currently no requirement for any certified vendor to give you a report on ECDS measure impact from supplemental data for the numerators, for the exclusions, or even for the eligible population. So um, NCQA is working to cure this hole, and it's not definite that it'll be MY 2023 or a future year, but right now you're a little blind because although NCQA doesn't require your HEDIS vendor to tell you what EHR data or any other data source that supplemental um, did to ECDS measure reporting, they are allowed to, but they would have to have that programming in place. And part of the problem is vendors in the past haven't had to tell you other than numerator and exclusion what supplemental data did. So many of them are not programmed to say, wow, you just added one half a percent of diabetics to EED, HBD, and BPD. Um, so even if they want to give it to you, if they're not programmed, you know, they're moving towards the year they may have trouble. So this is a temporary problem that will go away in the future, but be very aware that big data that you throw in to ECDS measures for measures that have a medical marker event to the eligible population, you could be adding members and not be aware that you were doing that when you loaded the data.